Hey everyone, Mr. Mom Collectibles, and I am back with another Hot Toys unboxing and review. And today we're going to be taking a look at the Cobb Vanth from The Mandalorian Season 2. I'm very excited for this figure. Um, been waiting to get this one in for a while, so I was able to get this in today and got the review filmed. But before I do, I want to thank, give a huge thank you to Jeremy Casa over at Plastic Hero Collectibles. Uh, without Jeremy's help, this video, this review, unboxing, it wouldn't even exist. Uh, this figure was sold out on Sideshow. It's on waitlist, I think, right now. But uh, Jeremy was able to come through for me, actually get this for me day one, shipped it out, which is great. So I want to give a huge shout out to Jeremy. I've been getting a lot more of my figures from him. Uh, this is his actual Facebook page, Plastic Hero Collectibles. And I will link this in the description to this video. Um, I want to give a huge shout out to him. Like I said, he can get you pre-orders. So anything that new comes out, you can do a deposit with him and do pre-orders. You can do day one. You don't have to if you don't want to. Um, and also you do multiple shipping options. But not only that, though, you can get your grails, your old figures. You can just hit them up and send them a DM and say, hey, I'm looking for this. Can you give me a price on it? And he'll give you the best possible price. Not only that, if you're buying any type of used figures like I have before with my Obi-Wan from A New Hope, he'll send you a bunch of photos to make sure everything's inspected before shipping so there's no surprises whatsoever. Um, so like I said, go over, show him some love. Definitely uh, subscribe to his, his, face, his Facebook group and uh, just enjoy the content. But like I said, definitely hit him up. If there's a figure that you're interested in, you're, you don't know where to find, he's an honest seller. He's a great guy. I talk to him almost all the time. He's just a great, genuine person. He's a collector, first and foremost, so he's very knowledgeable about everything. And you can reach out to him for some questions, some pricing, things like that. So like I said, Jeremy, thank you so much for this figure. So without further ado, let's jump into the review. So here we have it, the Hot Toys Cobb Vanth from the Mandalorian Season 2, TMS-084. Now before we get into the actual unboxing, please consider dropping a like on this video. And if this is your first time watching the channel, please consider subscribing for this and future content. And while you're at it, hit that notification button so you'll be notified for future videos, unboxings, and live streams while you're at it. Uh, while we get into this video, I'll have my thoughts on this because definitely there were some opinions about this figure in terms of the price point. Uh, it came in at $300, which I thought was a hefty price tag for this, and that may have swayed some people's opinions on this. But like I said, we're going to get into the unboxing. As you see here, there's the artwork of the figure on the front of the box, and inside there is a slipcover piece that shows uh, different uh, poses from the figure from the Mandalorian Season 2. And unboxing, the, taking the slipcover out, you'll see here is the accessory tray uh, with the figure. So we're just going to basically do, uh, the way I filmed this was just straight live unboxing kind of experience to get an idea of everything that's going on here. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is actually uh, take a look at the, the little accessory tray that comes on top of the figure. Now, that was one thing about this figure that people were kind of griped about with the price tag is there's a lot of reused parts on this. So you can see here, um, the only thing that's new here are the gloves, the fingerless gloves. You have the bottle of Spotchka, and if you have the Fennec Shan figure, it's the same bottle that comes with her. And then you have the jetpack accessories, which comes with the Boba Fett um, the, the, the battle damaged armor, if you will, that two pack. Uh, but so the other stuff is pretty much, like I said, reuse pieces. I just pulled out one of the hands there. You can see 
as always, Hot Toys nails the paintwork on the glove and the fingers. But all the other accessories, the Spotchka, like I said, those jetpack effects, they're nothing new. And that kind of goes into the, I think, the qualms people had about this figure is that a lot of it was repurposed pieces for a 300 dollars price tag but the biggest thing when i opened up this figure first i took off all the plastic i did a pre-inspection of the figure and the first thing i grabbed here uh was the head sculpt guys i mean i i think the head sculpt looks awesome in, in hand i mean you can you know you can watch uh youtube reactions to this where you know all oh, the degradation of the sculpt oh i'm telling you in hand uh i give the sculpt i initially gave it a seven when I first saw it, uh, I'm bumping it up to a seven and a half. And then I'll tell you what my overall rating is for the figure. Um, but just looking on the sculpt, I give it a seven and a half. I see the actor there. I see the likeness when I move it around, when the light when the, when the light hits it, the shadows and things like that. I have no issues with this whatsoever. Um, I didn't really from day one either. Um, like I said, uh, the sculpt itself went through a little bit of change, but We'll see what that looks like on the figure itself, and I'll show you how my final display is going to be. And then here we have the uh, you know his rifle from season two and his blaster. Once again, paint applications look great, weathering in the right spots. The uh, blaster rifle has looked like a little bit of tape on the uh, you know on the on the areas here with the handle and things like that. Really great textured feel, but overall, I'm I'm really happy about this. I won't be displaying mine with the rifle himself. I'll have him holding the pistol itself, uh, like a kind of like a gunslinger pose. And you guys will see that later on in the video. But like I said, it gives you multiple uh, display options, which are great. No issues, like I said, with that stuff. It looks fine to me. And then we're going to take a look at the jetpack itself. It's the same jetpack, pretty much. It's magnetized to the back of Cobb Vanth. Like I said, reused jetpack from the Boba Fett 2-pack, which, once again, goes into that idea of you know a $300 plus figure with reused uh, pieces. But from what I can see, everything looks the same. And then we have the figure here himself. I mean, like I said, it's as advertised, if that makes sense. Um you know, there was, it, lo it looks awesome. You know, I really wanted this in my collection very badly because I'm kind of putting together like a Star Wars Western kind of theme. Um, the belt there is absolute garbage. It's very thin. Uh, the red bandana, the look, I mean, it looks awesome. And, you know, I can understand that maybe people picked up two of these to give different display options. But like I said, I actually ended up displaying mine with the armor off just because it gives it a more unique look in my own collection. But if you want to display this with the Boba Fett armor, I mean, it looks it looks great. You have no, absolutely you have a lot of different uh, display options. Um, the boots there, you know, not bad, limited articulation. But like I said, overall, we're going to pop the sculpt off in a moment and get, you know, you guys can take a look and see where uh, how that looks. And finally is the display base, standard display base. It looks like kind of uh, you know wood planking, and then they give you this little uh, attachment piece, which is supposed to kind of you know simulate the door, uh, like a slug, you know, one of the doors, blast doors, and then uh, it lines up right over. It doesn't really click into place, and you just put the uh, you know the crotch grabber right there if you wanted to. I mean, Star Wars, you know, they're st they're stepping up a little bit with the display bases, but it's still lackluster, and I won't be using this personally in my display. So there's everything it comes with. We're going to take a look at the figure. So we're kind of, you know, a little pan in. And this is what the figure looks like in the Boba Fett armor pose. Like I said, it looks really great. I have him out with his gun drawn. That's the kind of pose I want to go for is kind of like a shooting by the hip, the waist side. Um, and this is kind of him walking out onto the plank with the, yeah, I wasn't really going for anything specific here. I just kind of posed him up in a little, little neutral walking stance with his gun out. But that's kind of how I always wanted him posed with his gun drawn. Um, but I, I'm really digging this look a lot in terms of this. And, uh, you know, it's like I said, as advertised. And here he is with the sculpt on. Um, we'll get some up close, you know, up close uh, looks with this. But uh, just kind of giving you guys a once over. And, you know, there's there's really like three or four ways that you could display this figure. I mean, you could do it full armor. You could do it armor with the head sculpt or you can do it with no armor. I mean, it's just I really like the display options that you have with this figure and you know overall if i had to give this figure a rating i mean i'm giving this one a little bit higher it's it's in the eight eight and a half for me as a figure overall um however i can understand people are going to kind of maybe combat me in the comments about that i think the biggest problem is going to be the price tag if this figure came in at like 260 
I don't think we have an issue. And here I'm going to point out three little things that I noticed. Number one, I think people are going to have issues with the red bandana staining the actual head sculpt. But we're going to get into a little bit of a fix that I noticed when I was doing some swap outs on that. But I know that's going to be an issue people might have or concerns is the red bandana leaving a stain maybe on the back of the neck. But we'll talk about that. The second one that I have a little bit of a problem with is obviously the belt. If you're used to these cheap pleather belts, I mean, you can see it is just super, super thin. I don't even want to actually put the gun in the holster. You can see how pencil thin that holds. It looks like that holster is about as thick as a piece of paper. And so it's just very lightweight, very flimsy. And then the other thing I noticed here was the left gauntlet. If you notice that gauntlet, actually, it, for me, it was a very tight snug over the red shirt. But if you notice the gauntlet like overhangs the, the arm a little bit here, the hand I should say, and it limits the articulation of the hand because that hand is a little bulky with the, the padding on the fingers there. So you can see there, you really are limited with the articulation and that combination of the gauntlet and that glove could be just my figure, but it's a little snug and a little tight there. But those are the little three quote unquote issues or concerns I had, but we're going to fix one or two of them here. And this is me just doing a live with one take uh on on you know on doing the boba fett armor it's all velcro i'm a little rough on this because like i said i just decided to start filming the on you know removal without really kind of putting too much thought into it but uh you know you just take off the back piece pop the head sculpt off that would be the first thing to do and like i said the back plate is velcro the shoulder pads velcro and then once you expose that back plate and get that off there it is you just un, you know undo the velcro there you're going to have to take the gauntlets off the hands off um all that at first i put the arms backwards not knowing how this is going to come off but it's going to come off via the front so uh you unvelcro that and then there's the hoses to the flamethrower. You just they're just fed through. There's no connection to them anywhere. They're just kind of disguised in the back. But you will have to take the hands off right there. They just pop right off. The gauntlets come off. And then from there, you expose the uh the season two look, if you want to call it, for Cobb Van, which is just the the red shirt with the bandana. Um Yes, the shirt is not accurate to season two. Um, it doesn't have the correct uh, pattern, you know, pattern to it. So I'm just going to call that out as is. So the shirt is inaccurate in terms of its design. But like I said, there it is. If you want to display the season two look, um, and then what I'm going to talk about now is going to be the bandana. So this is interesting. If you look at the bandana, two things happen here. Number one, you can actually loosen the back of the bandana. Just pull on a little bit, and it'll actually loosen up. He wore it very loose in season two. So if you want to do that, you can loosen that up. And if you flip the bandana over, there's actually a little red piece of plastic there, like paper. And I believe that's put there for a purpose is that to avoid friction of the bandana on the actual head sculpt so you don't get any staining. So you see there, you just slide that head sculpt right through and that little piece of paper will help you out. Now, what I did here was, if you look at this shirt here, the shirt collar actually sticks up pretty well. It's about, you know, a little quarter of an inch around, maybe a little less than that, so to speak. Just take the bandana and loop it around the actual shirt collar. So you see there, take your time with it, need some loving, obviously. I might have rushed a little bit for the review, but if you put the collar, you know, the bandana on, loosen it up and put it around the shirt collar, and then put the head sculpt inside the shirt and the head sculpt it's never touching the bandana so just like i said you know you'd be a little a little easier with this than i am and uh just pop that head sculpt in as you can see there i well, missed it there but like i said you can go back and refine it but you get the idea you pop that head sculpt right in and the bandana itself doesn't have to touch the head sculpt and you can avoid the staining so you see right in the back like i said just futz with it a little bit like I said, I did it off camera, just get, get it the way I want. But for the sake of the review, you can see here and just kind of tuck everything in, just kind of fold it, you know, make sure everything's the right right way. But there you have it. That's kind of the way you can do it without the, uh, the bandana getting any type of staining or anything. But I'm actually going to display my figure this way. I really like it a lot um, with the red shirt. It works in my display personally. Um, I have a lot of mandos and stuff like that. So this red outfit, this red look kind of breaks up my whole uh, display collection. It will be going in my mando shelf, but I don't need another Boba Fett armored figure, so to speak. Um, but I really love the presence. He's simple. I won't deny that. A lot of reused parts. I actually left that, uh, that right uh, shin armor piece on. I got to take that off. I left that in for the review. But uh, I won't deny it. A lot of reused stuff. A lot of reuse stuff, but I still love the figure. And we're going to put him next to 
Um, I'm going to put pull out Cad Bane here so you get an idea of what Cad Bane looks like. And, I mean, I'm just going to have a lot of fun posing these guys up. And then the third figure I'm actually going to pull in here is uh, going to complete my Star Wars Western you know, Gunslinger collection, which is actually the OG Mando, which is actually still my favorite Mandalorian. He's actually one of the first ones that got me into collecting uh, Hot Toy Star Wars. But I just love these guys together. And I'm going to have a lot of fun posing these up on my shelf, taking photos when the weather's nice out, and I go outside, take some photos of these guys, mix them around. I just love this whole Western Gunslinger Star Wars theme thing that they have going on here. So that's why you know Cobb Vanth was an absolute, absolute must and here he is this is a mistake pose but he's actually going to stay this way so this is him posed up with the boba fett throne with his bottle of spotchka so boba fett's got his uh, bodyguards here he's got fennec shan on one side with her spotchka and he's got Cobb vanth on the other so this is just the final walkthrough um like i said guys i love this figure a lot he was as advertised and uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments below, like what you think about this. But like I said, this here, how you see him, this is going to be my post. Very simple, straightforward, but I absolutely love it. But uh, like I said, this is Mr. Mom Collectibles. I really do appreciate the time watching this video. Please consider, like I said, dropping a like on it, subscribing to the channel if this is in fact your first time. And like I said, hit that notification for future upcoming videos and reviews and live streams and such. But until then, I will see you guys in the next video. Take care. And have a great day. And as always, enjoy collecting.